Hey folks, Dave here in Studio B, late night tonight, as we're going to uh, do my first tribute game here on the channel. Um, didn't really want to do a tribute game because that means somebody passed away, is what I mean by that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do the uh, Rene Robert tribute game tonight here on uh, my channel as I got my, uh, my little over here. I got my Sabres uh, pennant up there. I got my Sabres shirt on, and we're going to... Uh, Give uh, Renee uh, a game tonight here on the channel as we're going to do uh, actually opening night 74 75 against the Boston Bruins from the odd in Buffalo is what this game is going to be. And uh, I chose this game because it was a big Buffalo win over the Bruins, it was uh, 9 to 2, 9 to 3, something like that. Um, and this is the year 74 75 that Renee Robert had 100 points even. For the Sabres, and they went to the finals against the Flyers, I believe it was. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to pick opening night here in Buffalo for our tribute uh, for Rene Robert. So without further ado, let's get down to rinkside here as we play In the Crease Hockey. We're going to be using In the Crease Hockey tonight. I thought about going with either Action PC or Strat PC, but uh, we'll go with uh, Inside the Crease Hockey tonight for our tribute. Uh, so as you can see, uh, Rene Robert is on the right wing. The French connection was uh, Gilbert Perrault and Rick Martin. And so it's going to be the Sabres taking on the Bruins. In net will be Gilles Gilbert for the Bruins. And uh, Roger Crozier will be in net for the Sabres. And again, uh, I, I play this kind of my own way here. I may make mistakes in this game. But the idea is I'm just going to have some fun tonight playing the Rene Robert tribute game. So let's kick things off with the faceoff. And uh, hopefully I get my sound off. Um, yeah, I, I'm coming on late tonight. We had a long chat tonight. Um, as we, oh, actually, a long recording session tonight. We recorded Digital to Dice tonight. And uh, I want to get the uh, Rene Robert tribute game in for the uh, the Buffalo Sabre player. So it's going to be won by Gilbert Perot as he wins the faceoff from Phil Esposito. And it's really late over here, too, so I'm not going to get too crazy with my screaming and yelling. <laughs> I don't want to wake up the wife and get yelled at in the middle of a tribute game. Uh, so it's going to go to Rick Martin now. Rick Ma Martin avoids the hit from Vadne. Martin moving in now, and he's going to turn this one over. And it's going to be taken away by Ken Hodge for the Bruins. Hodge trying to send it back to Vadne to start the play, but no, he's going to have to dump it in as Jerry Korab stepped up for the Sabres. Puck goes into the corner. Bill Height and Don Marcotte will battle in the corner, and it's going to be won by the home team on the tie. So Height picks up the loose puck. Height sends it up to Gilbert Perot, and he's on his horse. Here comes Perot now up over center. Perot moving into the Boston zone. Perot takes a shot, shoots this one, and that's going to be 86 will be a save by Gilbert, and he'll drop it off for Bobby Orr. It is Orr number four for the Bruins. And it's not taken away by the Sabres, so he's going to send it up to Phil Esposito. Oh, oh Phil Esposito moving in. Uh, he's got a uh, shot three coming up here. Esposito shoots this one, and that's going to be on net on Crozier. A 28 is going to be a save by Roger Crozier, and the rebound will bounce over to Gilbert Perot. Perot has the loose puck for the Sabres, and he's going to swing it up on the left wing to Rick Martin. Martin gets around Vadne, moves into the Boston zone. Martin moving in from the faceoff circle, fires this one. That's an 82. That'll be saved by Gilbert, and he'll hang on. We played a minute 40 here in the first period. 0-0 no, uh, score between Boston and Buffalo and the Rene Robert tribute game here on my channel. And the faceoff will be won by Perot. He gets it back to the point to Korab. Korab... Uh, it's gonna, let's make a line change here. So Korob has it, and he'll leave it for Spencer. Spencer has it taken away by Dallas Smith of the Bruins. Smith now trying to get it up to Busick, but Rick Dudley steps up and takes it away from Johnny Busick, the chief. Puck bounces over to Spencer now, but he's going to take a big hit by Schmatz on the play, and the puck is going to go back into the Boston zone. It is Al Sims on the loose puck right now. Sims with it. As he tries to skate up, and he does. He gets it up to Schmatz now. Schmatz on the right wing. Coming into the Buffalo zone. Schmatz goes around the left defense. Fogelin on the play. Here comes Schmatz moving in. He's going to get a shot four right here. Schmatz shoots this one. Point blank range, but getting back on the play was Dudley. And he got a piece of that. And the puck goes into the corner. Schmatz gets there first now. Tries to send it back to the point to Dallas Smith. And he does. And Dallas Smith's going to get a shot, too, from the point. Shoots this one. That's on target. A 57 is going to be saved by Crozier. And he'll hang on. So the shot's a 2-2 two to two here. 
and there's no score in the first period. You know, I just saw that, that he played for the Rockies. He actually, um, it was I think Don Cherry picked him up when Cherry was the coach of the Bruins. And the story that I heard today um, that Rene Robert used to tell is that uh, the Rockies went into Boston, and it, so it must have been 78, 79, something like that. Uh, and um, Don Cherry said to the Rockies, he goes, I don't, I don't care if you win another game this season, but I want you to win this game tonight against Boston. And they went out, and they were beating the Bruins in the third period, and there was a timeout. And uh, all of a sudden, like, Don Cherry, didn't, he was still in the timeout. And, and Rene Robert's like, what are you doing? Why, why are you taking so long in this timeout? You're giving the Bruins a chance to rest. And Don Cherry's like, I'm signing autographs. <laughs> And the Rockies went on to win the game from what I hear, but that was a funny story that Don Cherry took an extended time out to sign autographs with the fans who were cheering him. And uh, But I think the Rockies won that game. So funny story there. As, uh, hey, Al Red Sox fan joins us here for the Rene Robert tribute game. So we have a, a face-off, and it's going to be uh, going to the visitors now. So it's going to be won by Greg Shepard over to Bobby Schmott. Schmott's, he's going to try to send it back to the point, and he does. He gets it to Al Sims. Al Sims going to come in. Al Sims is going to have that hop up. Wait, 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 wait. I got the wrong number here. Al Sims, 35, is going to make a pass. That's my bad. Sorry. And we'll change up the lines here. So line three will come out for Boston. Rene Robert, Perot, and Rick Martin will be back out on the ice for the Sabres. And, um, yeah, that was, that was, oh, Rob, show, Rob Gallimard, I just saw you here in the chat. Uh, yeah, that was a funny story. I'd never heard that. And I didn't know Rene, Rene Robert played for the Rockies. I have the Rockies. I almost did a Rockies tribute game, but I think I'd rather have him play for the Sabres. That's what he was well known for. Maybe I'll do two tribute games. Who knows? Uh, so it's going to get a uh, no penalty here. So it's going to go to Andre Savan with it now. Savan has it. Savan's going to make a nice pass over to Terry O'Reilly. Here comes Taz. Terry O'Reilly, a shot four. Point blank range. His shot is on target. An 18, and he scores. So Terry O'Reilly takes the pass from Savad, and the Bruins go up one nothing here in Buffalo. Any other assist on the play? No, nope, that's going to be it. So O'Reilly from Savad, and the Bruins lead the tribute game here one nothing. It's Carl Wilkinson shows up for the uh, Rene Robert tribute game. And it's going to be a face-off. It's going to be won by Perot. No, Visitor's kicked out. I'm sorry. Visitor's kicked out, so let's drop it again. And this time it's going to be won by Perot. It gets it back to Rick Martin. The French connection out there. Martin, Gilbert, and Perot. Uh, pass over to Rene Robert. But Bobby Orr, uh-oh, Bobby Orr steps up. And he takes the puck away from Rene Robert. And it's going to slide over now to the right wing to O'Reilly, who has the goal for Boston. O'Reilly, uh-oh, he's got a shot one. And O'Reilly looking for two here. He shoots this one, but getting back is King Korab on the play. And Jerry Korab forced this shot wide. The puck goes into the corner, and Bill Height picks it up for the Sabres. Height, uh-oh, we got a penalty check here as he slides it up to Rick Martin. So O'Reilly's going to get a penalty check, and this is going to be a penalty. It's going to be a minor penalty, so delayed call on O'Reilly. Roger Crozier heads to the bench. Uh-oh, I can't pull the goalie. Oh, maybe I got to do something first? Hmm. How come I can't pull the goalie? That is weird. We got a delayed call. Oh, delayed call. Oh, there we go. Now I can pull the goalie. Okay, extra skater comes out for the Sabres. It will be uh, Don Luce will be the extra skater. And it's going to be Rick Martin with the puck now. Uh, Martin's going to make a pass. Martin, uh, Savant can't take it away. Gets it to Perot. Perot moving in. Perot shot four. Shoots this one, and that goes wide as O'Reilly get back on the play. Delayed call on Boston. Loose puck goes to Gilbert Perot. Perot will get it now. He'll try to send it back to Hyde at the point, but it's going to be taken away by Dave Forbes, and we'll get the penalty. So we'll just go ahead and change. Oh, damn it. Um, no, I need to put O'Reilly back out here. So O'Reilly's going to get a penalty, so... O'Reilly will go to the box, and boarding. I'm not going to check for an injury. We'll just go boarding. So two minutes penalty here on the Bruins. So Robert, Perot, and Martin will come out on the power play for the Sabres as they trail by a goal. And uh, we haven't got a goal yet, so Kyle Wilkinson shows up. We haven't got a goal yet, but now we do have a power play. And I can remember to put the goalie back in that. I did that in my... Um, 
<laughs> my game there the other day. I played at the, the Atlanta and the Philadelphia game, and I forgot to put the goalie back in. But somehow, at the end of the regulation, he put back he got put back in by himself, so that kind of worked out. I didn't make any mistakes, I don't think, so that's good. All right, so let's go with the face-off now as the Sabres will skate 5-on-4 here, here in the first period in the Rene Robert tribute game. Robert is on the ice. It's going to be won by Perot. He gets it back to Jocelyn Gouvermont at the point. Gouvermont. Uh, Shepard does no penalty, so Gouvermont has it. Gouvermont's going to skate in. Gouvermont's going to give it away, though, and it's going to go to the center, and there's no center, so Perot's going to get it. Perot, uh, so the, the defense is low. Physical play is low, the no hit, so there's going to be no hit on the play. So Korab's going to get the puck. Korab's going to, Korab's going to give that away, too. Oh, the center would have had a breakaway, but there's no center. So it bounces over to Perot again, who's going to make another pass. He's going to try to slide it over to Robert. Uh, but no, Shepard's there to make the play, and it's going to be dumped into the corner. And b bounces out in front, and Gilbert will cover this up. I did get a goal within a minute. Okay, I take that back, you know. <laughs> All right, so the face-off will be in the Boston zone. Got, uh, one minute to go on the penalty to O'Reilly. Face-off is won by Shepard. He gets it back to Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr is going to try to skate with it. He tries to pass it up the middle, and it's going to be intercepted by Perot. Perot now. Ooh, oh, it's going to be Oh, that's only a nine. Okay, never mind. So it's going to be a pass over to Rene Robert. He's the man of the hour. Rene Robert, he's going to move in. Will he get a goal in his own tribute game? He's got a power play chance. A shot for Robert shoots this one. Oh, but Bobby Orr with a six will block the shot. And the puck goes into the corner now. Getting there first, though, is Rick Martin. Martin on the loose puck. No, we're going to keep these lines out here now. Martin has it. Uh, avoids Phil Esposito on the play and gets it back to the point to Jerry Korab. Time tick ticking away here on the man advantage for the Sabres. They trail one to nothing here in the Rene Robert tribute game. Korab has it at the point. Korab, he's going to try to make a pass, and the lines will change up here as the penalty is indeed over. So Bill Height has the puck as uh, we get going here. What line is out here, by the way? I don't know what line that is. Walton, oh, this is line four. I, I had this set for only, hmm, this is what I had. I had it set for only three lines, but they're going to throw a line four out here at me. That's fine. Peter McNabb playing for the Sabres. Walt McKechnie, I just posted something on Facebook today. I met him and Reggie Leach on this day two years ago. So Walt McKechnie's out there for Boston. And we'll continue on here. So it's going to be a pass by Bill Height. And yeah, Bobby Orr can't take it away. And it's going to pass to the right wing now. Larry Mickey now. Larry Mickey with it. He's going to turn this one over, and it's going to be taken by Walt McKechnie. He does not have a breakaway, so he's going to try to send it over to Dave Hines on the wing, and he does. Left wing for Boston Hines. Hines moving into the zone. He makes a nice move around height. Here comes Dave Hines. A shot five. Turns this one, but Jerry Cora blocks that one, and the puck bounces into the corner. Morris Titanic. Not heard of Morris Titanic, but he's going to get the loose puck. And he'll skate it away. And let's get line one back out here for each team. Let's get some guys we know out here in the tribute game, shall we? <laughs> you know? Wow. Um, the Isles survived. They won an overtime. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, I knew that they, uh, they were trailing, and they tied it up on the power play, I think, in the third. And that's as far as I got. Uh, Phil Esposito will take the puck away from Korab. And it's going to bounce over to Donnie Marcotte on the left side. Marcotte moving in over the line. Marcotte shot four. Shoots us 164. It's going to be a save by Crozier. And Crozier will hang on. I'll have to go back and check out the uh, the video of that before I go to bed tonight. So see the highlights of the game. So face off now. We'll get line two out here for each team. one nothing uh, score and a goal by Terry O'Reilly. Assisted by Andre Savard. And a face-off, it's going to be Shepard wins it back to Schmatz on the right wing. Schmatz with it now. Nope, we already changed the lines. Schmatz trying to go back to Shepard, but no, Gouvermont gets there, and the puck squirts into the corner. Getting there first is Gouvermont just ahead of Johnny Busick, and sends it up to Craig Ramsey now. Craig Ramsey, though, just has to dump it in as Dallas Smith met him at the Boston Blue Line. Puck goes into the corner. Al Sims for the Bruins on the loose puck. Sims trying to make a play. No, had it taken away by Craig Ramsey. Ramsey with a steal now. Ramsey gets around. Busick drops it back to Gouvermont at the point. Gouvermont in the Boston zone. Looks to make a pass. 
Tries to get it over to Seanfield. He does. His defensive partner, Seanfield, has it now. Trying to go to Don Luce down, down low. He gets it to Luce. Luce turns and shoots this one from the outside. A bad angle. That's going to be blocked by Al Sims. And the puck will bounce over to Dallas Smith. Smith with a loose puck now. Eight minutes to go here in the period. So we'll get. Uh, let's go back to line one. I love how you can do the line changes in this game. I, I'm starting to really warm up to this game a lot more. Uh, it's going to be Carol Vadney with it now. Carol Vadney's going to get a shot. Shot two. Vadney from the point shoots this one. And that goes wide as Rene Robert got a stick on the puck from the Vadney shot. The puck goes into the corner. Korab gets there ahead of Ken Hodge. And Korab on the loose puck swings it up to the wing to Rene Robert. Robert has it. But it's going to be uh, intercepted by Bobby Orr. Bobby Orr is just everywhere in this game. Or... Sends it up to Marquardt. Donnie Marquardt coming in now. Marquardt with a nice pass over to Carol Vadne at the point. Vadne turns. It's going to be a shot one. Shoots this one on the net, and that's going to be blocked by Rick Martin. So the French connection out there doing a good job of shutting down Esposito, Hodge, and Marquardt of the Bruins. As Captain Carl shows up here for the Rene Robert tribute game here on uh, my channel, and it's going to be a uh, loose puck. It's going to go to Ken Hodge. Hodge is going to get the puck. He's going to try to slide it back to the point to Orr. He gets it to Orr. Orr is going to make a nice pass to Donnie Marquardt. Marquardt, shot five at the side of the net. Marquardt tries to steer this one in the net. A shot three, and Marquardt scores. So Orr with a nice pass to Don Marquardt right in front of Crozier, and all Marquardt had to do was tip that in the net, and it's 2-0 Boston. So Orr will get one assist. Esposito will get one assist, and Carl Wilkinson, Wilkerson in the chat room will pick up the third assist on the Don Marquardt goal. So we'll get line two back out here for each team. And we'll face it off here. So, so far, the tribute game is going in the uh, favor of the Boston Bruins here. And Don Luce wins it back to Jim Schoenfeld, who spent some time in Boston as well. I've never seen a guy without a helmet or without any kind of protection on his head jump in front of shots like Jim Schoenfeld did. <laughs> that guy was that guy was crazy, but he blocked a lot of shots. Uh, Luce gets it away from Shepard now, and Luce has the puck, and he's going to turn it over, though, and Shepard's going to take it away from him. Shepard slides it back to Al Sims, and he'll start to play behind the Boston net. Al Sims coming up the wing now, trying to make a pass, and the teams will change the lines up here, and we'll get line three out for each team. And it's going to be a uh, Daryl Edestrand with it now. Edestrand... He's going to try to make a long pass. And, no, hits a skate and bounces back to him, and he'll have to start the play again. Nice play by Rick Dudley to break that pass up. Goes back to Edestrand now. He's going to try to pass it over to Gary Doak. Doak gets it. Here comes Doki the other way. Doak, he's going to send it over to Dave Forbes on the play. Forbes gets it now. Forbes into the zone. Forbes puts on the brakes. He looks. He's being watched by Foglin on the play. He tries to slide it back to the point to Doak, and he gets it to him. Doak moving in. Doak, long shot from the point, and that's going to be a 73, and that'll be saved by Crozier, and he'll hang on for a faceoff. I said assist Wilkinson. You were in on that. You got the third assist. Look, it's right here. Look at this. Right here. So it's Marquardt from Orr, Esposito, and Wilkinson. You can't see that? It's right there. It's plain as day. Faceoff in the Buffalo zone, and Crozier is cold, by the way. Uh, and that, that's the, I guess that's the new goalie card in this game is you can get hot and cold. I think it's kind of cool. I really do. And Perron got hot the other night, and I didn't think the Flames were going to score, and the Flames scored in overtime to win it. So it can happen. And, uh, uh oh Jim Lorenz will be kicked out of the faceoff, and we're going to drop it again. And it'll be won by Brian Spencer comes in as we got line three out there for each team as he wins that from Savard. And it's going to go to Lorenz on the draw. Lorenz slides it back to Dudley on the on the left wing, but he's going to be hit by Forbes. Loose puck is going to bounce to Spencer on the left wing. And, yeah, we'll change up the lines. We'll get line two back out here. That's fine. So loose puck. Jubuza can't get it. It's going to be Danny Gare with it now. Danny Gare over to Boston line. Top of the faceoff circle. Fires this one on Gilbert. And Gilbert will make the save, and he'll drop that off for Al Sims. Sims trying to swing it up to Buzik on the wing. He gets it. Here comes the Chief the other way. Johnny Busick on his horse. Johnny Busick comes in, stops at the blue line. He's going to take a look around now and had it taken away by Danny Gare. Busick stopped, looked around, and Danny Gare swooped in and took that puck right off his stick. As Hockey on Real shows up here to the Rene Robert tribute game, unfortunately right now it's 2-0 Boston, if you will. 
and it's going to be, uh, let's say it was with the puck, Craig Ramsey with it now. Ramsey gets, oh, Ramsey's going to get a sh nice shot here. Shot five, Ramsey moving in. He goes around Dallas Smith. Craig Ramsey, point blank on Gilbert. He shoots, and he scores. Craig Ramsey gets the Sabres on the board, and now Gilbert is called. And so the Sabres have cut the lead to 2-1. to one. Don Luce will get an assist, as does Jim Schoenfeld. So now... It's after goals by O'Reilly and Mark. Uh, Craig Ramsey has scored for the Sabres, and it's now 2-1. to one. And uh, be checking tomorrow on uh, Retro Sports Network here on YouTube as uh, Uncle Ron played Game 2 of the Islanders and the Blackhawks in their series there. You want to check out the end of that game. It was it was pretty cool. The end of that game was pretty cool. Uh, him, myself, and our, our Red Sox fan are doing a uh, a joint project between the three of us, if you will, on 77-78 playoffs, and it's been really fun. The game's been great. We've been using all kinds of different games, and uh, we, we had a little chat tonight about how the project's going, and, and we're both, all three of us are very excited about how it's going and how it's being received. Uh, loose on the draw. He's going to win it back to Gare. Gare has it. He's going to have it uh, gets away from Al Sims, and he'll skate with the puck. He'll come into the zone. Save his trail now 2-1 to one after the goal by Ramsey. And it's going to be a uh, shot from way out on the outside. It's on target, and it's going to be saved by Gilbert, and he'll hang on for a faceoff. So we're going to get line one out here. We'll let him play the last uh, 240 of the period so we can see Robert. He's the man of the hour. <laughs> it's a strap a goal horn to your head. I, I think any horn strapped to your head would look good. Any horn at all, like a uni unicorn horn, something like that. A bull horn, that might be kind of neat. Uh, face off, and it's going to go to Esposito. Esposito is going to try to send it over to Hodge. No, Korab steps up, and he buries Hodge on the play. And Bill Height will swoop in and pick up the loose puck. No, nope, we're going to keep the lines out here. And the puck is going to be taken over by Boston. This is going to be, uh, we'll give it to Orr. Orr is going to steal the puck now. Or loose puck. Uh, no, it's going to send it over to Marquardt now. Donnie Marquardt. Oh, Marquardt. This this combination worked a minute ago. Or in the Marquardt. He goes to the backhander. Shot, 71. And it's going to be saved by Crozier. As he got the glove on that, and he freezes the puck with a minute 40 to play. And uh, Kyle Brewer, Wilkinson. Yes, I know who Kyle Brewer is. Uh, one of my uh, a friend of mine used to play hockey with. Kyle Brewer is his favorite player. Favorite player in the world, Kyle Brewer. And Hockey Unreal says it's a very nice idea to play off collaboration. It'll make some interesting stuff to catch up on. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to put them all in a playlist on my channel as, as Al and Ron put out the videos, so they'll, they'll all be in one place. Um, so it should be kind of fun uh, to uh, to check that out in the future once all the games are done. And since he was going to win that, uh, it's been, been really fun. So face off now in the Buffalo zone. As I'm kind of chatting tonight, you can see I'm kind of chatting away tonight. Just uh, that's fine. Uh, eight's gonna be won by Perot. Perot has it. Perot gonna take a hit by Orr though, and Orr's gonna bump the puck away from Rene Robert, and it's gonna go over to Rick Martin now. Martin's gonna try to make a play, and he will. He'll skate with the puck now. Martin head of steam now, up over to center ice. He goes into the Boston zone, fires this one from a long way out. That's on target. A twenty-three. That's gonna be saved by Gilbert. Rebound goes in the corner. Esposito's gonna beat Perot to the puck. Esposito slides it behind the net to Vadney, but Korab moves in from the point and takes that away. And we get a penalty twelve. No, I'm just gonna kind of run penalties as normal tonight. And it goes over to Rene Robert right now. Rene Robert is going to get a shot. One on the play. Rene shoots this one. That's on net. 84. See, by Gilbert. And he drops it off for Bobby Orr. Orr now is going to skate with it. It's going to be a 38. Orr is going to make a nice pass. He's going to send this one over to Kenny Hodge. Kenny Hodge at the doorstep. Hodge moving in on Crozier. Hodge shoots this one. That's on net. And 87. That's a save by Crozier. Oh, Kenny Hodge was in all alone. Set up by Orr, but Crozier makes the save. Bill Height gets the puck now, and that'll be the end of the first period. So to score after one, it's Boston 2, Buffalo 1. Shot, shot on goal, uh, shots on goal will be 8 for Boston and 7 for Buffalo. Um, yeah, 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 Carl, yeah, the... Um, the um, the different games have been fun. In fact, uh, Al was suggesting to use a different game tonight that we hadn't thought about, the Franchise Hockey Manager 7, and thought about using that. Um, 
And that doesn't stream quite as well, but I might. I might sneak in a game of franchise hockey. I'm going to try. I'll do a test game first, see how it looks. But we might as well include all the games because that's what it is. It's just about having fun with this project. And um, Bob B just got 74 75 for Action PC. That's what I'm playing tonight. I'm playing the tribute game here. I almost did Action PC, but I said, you know, I, I like the detail that this provides. And um, Action PC, the guys get tired really quick. So here. The, the, as Uncle Ron says, the cards never get tired, so I can keep putting the Rene Robert, Robert out here as much as I want. So line one will come out. You know something? Let's go. I'm going to go line three for Boston. We're going to go line three. We're going to come out with our checking line here against the big line and see how this goes. All right, so uh, Perot is kicked out of the faceoff, and we're going to drop it again. And Andre Savard is going to win it over to Terry O'Reilly, who has the first goal of the game. O'Reilly. Going to send it back to the point to Edistran. Edistran gets it. Now, Edistran had to hop off of his stick. It's going to be taken by Rick Martin. And Martin has a breakaway. Here comes Rick Martin as he stole it from Edistran. Moving in on Gilbert. Martin shoots this one. And I think that's an automatic goal. I think when it says BRK, that's an automatic goal. So we're going to write that in as a goal by Martin. And the Sabres have tied the game. Uh, we'll give Perot an assist and Korab an assist, and the game is tied at 2-2. Two to two. I think that's what that means. That BRK means it's a breakaway goal. If I'm wrong, that's fine. And so where's, is Carl Wilkerson still here because we got a goal? You, you're heading out? You just got, you just got a goal. We just, we just tied the game. <laughs> Take a look at our scoring. O'Reilly and Marquardt made it 2-0 Boston, but Ramsey... Uh, late in the first, made it 2-1, to one, and then here, 23 seconds into the second period, Rick Martin has tied it up. So the Sabres have battled back from two down here in our replay. And it's going to be a face-off one by Perot. He gets it back to Bill Height with the puck. Height with it now. He's going to send it up to Perot. Perot moving into the Boston zone. He's going to get a shot, too. Fires this one, and that'll be a save by Gilbert, and he'll drop it off at Edestrand. Edestrand has the puck, tries to send it up to Savard, but no, it's taken away by Korab on the play. And he's going to send it over to Height. Height has it now, as the teams will probably make a line change here. Height with a pass. And it's going to be no penalty. He's going to send it on the wing to Martin. Rick Martin has it. He's going to make a nice pass to Perot on the give and go. Gilbert Perot moving in to put the Sabres on top. Shot on goal four. Pro shoots this one. And that goes on the net. A 33. That's going to be a save by Gilbert. And the rebound goes to Martin. Martin with Gilbert down. Fires this one. It's on the net. A 70 is saved by Gilbert as he shot it right into him. And Gilbert will hang on for the faceoff. So let's get some lines out here. Let's go line one for Boston and line. We'll go line two for the Sabres here. As uh, Brian shows up in here. Live in Buffalo entire life. Sabres fan, R.P. Renee. Yep, the French connection. So, yep, we're playing a game here. And it didn't start off too well for the Sabres, but they've come back with a pair of goals to tie this one up here. So it's 2-2 uh, two to two here in the second period. Both goalies are cold. Gilbert and Crozier are both cold. They both allowed a, uh, a goal in that made them cold. So we've got a face-off now in the Bruins zone. And it's going to be Don Luce on the draw. He's going to keep it himself. No, nope, I already changed the lines. And he's going to send it back to the point to Sean Fell. But Carol Vadney smashed into loose, and that puck bounces into the corner. Gare's going to get there first. Danny Gare has it now. And they got a possible penalty on Marquardt. And that's going to be a 9, and that will be a penalty. And uh, Nope, so it's going to be a penalty on Marquardt. So we got a delayed call here on the Bruins. Crozier heads to the bench. I got a, my extra skater will be, will be, oh, it's going to be Rene Robert. We're going to make him the man of the hour here. So R Robert jumps off the bench on the delayed call. And the puck was with, I think Gare had the puck, didn't he? So we're going to give it to Gare to make a pass now. Uh, we've already got a delayed call here, so it's going to be a pass over to Don Luce. Don Luce now, shot three, shoots us on the net. Five, oh, what a save. And he gets rid of the cold rating because of that nice save. And the puck goes to Kenny Hodge. He'll touch it up, and we'll get our penalty. So the penalty is on Don Marcotte. He'll go to the box for an interference call. I'm not going to do any misconducts or anything tonight. So let's go to our automatic lineup here. Okay, so we're going to have to go uh, PK2 and PK1. And uh, yeah, Robert will come out. I was going to put the goalie back in. I, I'm getting better at doing that, so... 
We only have parole left from that. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. As uh, Cheesy Poo shows up, good to see you here at the tribute game. As we're in the second period, early in the second period, 2-2 two to two to score. Boston went up 2 nothing on goals by O'Reilly and Marquardt. But uh, Ramsey and uh, Rick Martin have tied it for the Sabres. They go on the man advantage. So let's go to the faceoff now. Faceoff is won by Greg Shepard, and he'll skate with the puck now. And he's going to play it up, but he's going to be, he's gonna have to dump that in as Rene Robert stepped up on Shepard on the play, and the puck goes in deep. It's going to be picked up by Korab, who gets there ahead of Phil Esposito. Korab for Buffalo now. He's going to try to skate it up. Uh, no penalty because we're in physical low, so it's just going to be a pass to the left D. So Korab's going to get it. Korab moving in. He's going to find us on top of the faceoff circle. Shoots this one. And there's no center, so that's on net, and it's going to be a save by Gilbert. Rebound is goes to the offensive left wing, so Martin's going to get a rebound shot. He tries to tuck it in under the fallen Gilbert. And defensive four check zero or one, then wide shot. Yes, it is, so it's going to be wide. So the shot goes wide as Esposito got a piece of Martin, Martin rather, on the play, and the puck bounces into the corner. Greg Shepard gets there first for Boston. And we'll uh, keep the lines that we've got here as he tries to send it back to Vadney. But, no, Jerry Korab steps up from his point position and lays out a big hit. Phil Esposito will pick up the loose puck now with time ticking away on the man advantage. Esposito uh, gets hit by Rick Martin on the play, and it bounces over to Gilbert Perot. Perot has it. Gilbert Perot. Uh-oh. So if it's uh, one of the news pass number. So right wing takeaway one. But... If the defense is in four check, zero, one, then use pass number. So we're going to go to the pass number, 26. So it's going to be a, a shot by Martin. Martin shoots this one. 81 is going to be a save, Gilbert, and he'll hang on. Uh, let's see. We're talking about some of the games here. I'm not sure what lines you were talking about there, Cheesy Poof. I missed um. I missed what we were talking about here. I'm kind of watching the, the game here. I'm, the chat's going by kind of quick. I missed what game you're talking about, what was kind of difficult. All right, so we got a face-off now in the Boston zone. 20 seconds to go on the penalty to Don Marker. 2-2 two to two our score here in the Rene Robert tribute game. Uh, she'll be a pro, wins it back to Jocelyn Gouvermont at the point. Gouvermont has it, and it's going to be taken away by Carol Vatney on a steal. That and a steal, and we'll get some auto lines out here going here. So we'll get a uh, line. Let's get line three for each team up here. That's fine. And we'll continue on here. So it's going to be, uh, who's got the puck now? Interception by Vadney. This leaves it for Doak, and Doak's going to have to dump it in as Lee Fogland got in his way. Puck goes into the corner. Getting there first is Fogland. He goes behind the Buffalo net. 14-20 to 20 play here in the second period. 2-2 two to two off score. Buffalo now with 14 shots on net, and the Bruins only have eight. A pass from Fogan trying to connect with Lorenz. He gets it up to Jimmy Lorenz. Now Lorenz moving in now. He splits the D. Lorenz moving in. He's in tight on Gilbert. Shoots this one. And that's on target of 73. It's going to be a save by Gilbert. And the goaltender will hang on. Uh, oh, you talking about inside the You're talking about this game here? This game is really not as complicated as you'd think. Um, if you know hockey, it's a lot easier. Like I was looking into inside the paint, which is the basketball game, which plays just like this. But you got to know basketball, and I don't know basketball. So I, I'll probably still get it at some point, but I, I don't know enough basketball to to figure it out. As uh, Robert shows up here, we got some hawking. Yeah, we got the Rene Robert tribute game tonight, Robert. Uh, as, um, the, uh, the, the Buffalo hockey player had a heart attack and passed away this week, so we're playing some tribute to him for opening night of 74-75 against the Bruins, which the Sabres won 9-2. Two and nine to three when I looked it up, uh, but tonight's game it's two to two here in the second period. So we got a face off, and it's going to be won by Lorenz. Lorenz is going to get it, and we're going to you know, keep line three out here for another minute here. He's going to try to get it over here to uh, Larry Carrier, but we got a possible penalty on Servad, and yes, he'll get a minor penalty. So a delayed penalty here. Sabers will go back on the man advantage. Roger Crozier heading to the bench. And again, we're going to put Rene Robert out here as the extra attacker. So Carey has it now, a career. Uh, career trying to get it over to Lorenz. We're not going to check for another penalty. So this is going to be a pass. Lorenz right in front. Lorenz turn, shoots this one. 75, saved by Gilbert. And he'll hang on. And we're going to get a penalty now. So it's going to be Andre Savard is going to go to the box. And it's going to be another penalty, another power play here. 
while the Sabres. So Robert, Gilbert Perot, and Martin come out with Korab and Gouvermont. Boston and O'Connell with Shepard, Esposito, Bobby Orr, and Dallas Smith. And yes, you can get a free demo of this game to make sure it works on your computer and to give it a try. Uh, you get four or five days of it. I would say watch some videos, not necessarily mine, so to speak, but watch some videos on how this game is played so when you fire it up that you can hit the ground running because you don't want to try to learn the game during the demo. That's what I did is I picked up the game, and by the time I got around to playing it, the demo expired. And I never really learned it, so I should have been a little bit more proactive and learned how to play the game before getting into it, at least have an idea by watching other people's videos. And that's what I did the second time around when I bought it. So we got a face-off now as the save is going to man advantage. This is their third man advantage. And I think um got third man advantage here. And where is my – oh, there's somewhere you can get all the stats – just by clicking here. Shots on goal. Yeah, here it is right here. So the power play, um, yeah, the 0 for 2. This game does tremendous stats. It really does. I, I wish this would sim games. I would play more of this long pro long products on this game if it would sim. But you get you have to play all the games. So so you know, uh so you can buy your team and play to the twenty um if you're talking about this game, you buy the whole season. The season's not that expensive. They're ten to fifteen bucks or so. They're really fairly inexpensive. All right, so we got a face off now. Uh, Perot going up against Shepard. It's going to be won by Shepard. And let me see, face off center. Um, yep. Yeah, so it's going to go to Shepard now. He's going to make a pass, and he's going to get it over to Dallas Smith now. Dallas Smith, and he's going to give this one away, and it's going to be taken by Robert. Renee Robert with it now. Robert, he's going to skate in. Uh-oh, power play chance for Robert. He's going to get a shot five. Rene Robert moving in, shoots this one, and it is blocked by Greg Shepard on the play. Great play by the Boston center to get back and block that puck. The puck bounces into the corner. Perot with it now. Perot trying to send it back to the point, and he does. He gets it to Korab. Face, uh, uh, four check off. Okay, no, Korab's just going to get the puck. Korab's going to get a shot. A shot two from the point. And that's on target, and a 33 is going to be saved by Gilbert, and it's going to be picked up by Dallas Smith. Smith with it now. Smith trying to send it up to Phil Esposito. So if the four-check offense is zero, which it is, then there's no AST, and it's not that, so it's going to be a pass to right wing 20. So Esposito's just going to get a shot here. So Esposito now, he's going to skate up shorthanded. Phil Esposito moving into the zone, shoots this one, saved by Crozier. He's come way out to cut down the angle on the play, and it's picked up by Jocelyn Gouvermont. Gouvermont right, right now with the puck, because we'll keep the lines the way they are for the rest of the power play. Uh, uh, yeah, if you wanted to sim a season, you'd have to play every game in this. Yes, you would. That's the one downfall about this game is it's cards and dice. <laughs> and with cards and dice, you play every game. So, yeah, this is one that um, it's a it's a great filler game. It's great for small products. But if you wanted to play a full season out, yep, you're going to be playing every game. It's still a fun game, though. It's still a fun game. But if you're looking for a big project and something to sim, you know, strat PC, action PC, something like that, franchise hockey manager would, would probably be the way to go. Uh, loose puck or misses the check, and the puck bounces to Gilbert Perot. Gilbert Perot, he's coming in alone on Gilbert on the power play. Perot looking to put the Sabres in the league. Perot shoots this one, uh, and that's going to be a wide shot because they get four check zero. So Greg Shepard get back on the play, and he forced the Perot shot wide. Perot will get his own rebound, and he's going to send it back to the point to Robert, but you know, he's hit by Bobby Orr. Orr flattens Robert on the side, and the loose puck goes over to Greg Shepard. And the penalty is over. So the Sabres squander another power play here. And it's going to be Phil Esposito with the puck. Phil Esposito, uh-oh, he gets around Korab. Phil Esposito moving in. He's going to take a long wrist shot from far out. And that's going to be an easy stop by Crozier. Oh, but the puck bounces over to Marquardt. Marquardt, shot four in the rebound. Marquardt shoots this one. 95, that's going to be a save by Crozier. Bruins up to 11 shots in this game. And it's going to be Korab now behind the Buffalo net as he settles things down. And it's going to be Korab now. He's going to try to skate with it, but he's going to be, uh, oh, boy, he's going to be hit by Vadnay as he come up the center ice. The puck bounces back to Bobby Orr. 
Or with it now. He's going to try to skate. He's got some room. He's going to skate. Here he comes. Or with it now. Or over the line. Slides a pass over to Marquardt. Marquardt at the doorstep. Marquardt shoots this one. 22 is going to be saved by Crozier. And the rebound is picked up by Gilbert Perot. Sabres moving it now. Sabres bringing up to center ice. Martin on the left wing. He's got Perot and Rene Robert with him. Martin over the Boston line. Martin puts on the brakes. Fires this one towards the net. That's a weak shot. It's going to be held by Gilbert, and we'll get a face-off. So we get line two out here for each team in the second period. Uh, take care, Cheesy Poof. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, like I said, any questions, let me know. I'll, I'll help if I can. Um, but this is a fun fun hockey game to add to my hockey arsenal, to your hockey arsenal, too. Uh, it's a very fun game. All right, 10.20 to go. We're halfway through the Rene Robert tribute game. And we're tied at two, as I just said. All right, so face-off is going to go to uh, Don Luce. Luce is going to get it now. We're going to keep the line two out here. And it's going to be uh, over to Gare now, Danny Gare. Danny Gare with a nice pass back to the point to Sean Fell. Sean Fell turns, fires this one. And that's from way outside. And that's going to be a shot. And it's going to be saved by uh, Gilbert with the 46 on the card. So face off in the Boston zone, and Shepard and Luce will do it again. Luce wins it again. Back to the point to Gouvermont with it now. Gouvermont avoids the hit by Busick. Gouvermont is going to slide this one into Craig Ramsey now. Ramsey has it in the corner. He's being watched by Dallas Smith. Ramsey trying to skate away. He's controlling the puck with his skate now. Ramsey with it now. Turns, fires this towards the net. A 23 It's going to be a save and a rebound, and it bounces to Johnny Busick, who come in from his uh, offensive position to help out down low. Music has it, and he's going to send it behind the net to Al Sims, and we'll start the play. We'll get some new lines out here. How about that? There we go. So Orr has it now. He's, he's off the bench. Orr skating it up. No, Orr with a pass over to Marquardt. Marquardt has it. Force dump in. Yeah, so Marquardt is just going to have to play it in deep. It's going to be stopped by Crozier. He's going to lead it for Bill Height. Height for the Sabres now. Height now trying to send it up to Spencer. A big hit by Kenny Hodge. Kenny Hodge lined up Spencer at neutral ice, and he flattened him. And the loose puck is picked up by Orr. Uh, no, we'll keep the lines going here. Orr has it now. Orr, he's going to skate it up now. Orr, it's not going to be a dump in. Uh-oh, Orr's going to get a shot on goal four. Bobby Orr fires on Crozier. That's on the net, and Bobby Orr scores. After the big hit by Hodge at center ice, Orr stole the puck, and he went in, and he blasted this by Crozier, and the Bruins lead 3-2. to two. So Vadney will get an assist, and the fourth highest will be 1, 2, 3. So we're going to give it to Hodge, who started the play. So let's get new lines out here for each team. As we check the scoring again, so yeah, after goals by Ramsey and Martin tied the game up, Bobby Orr has put the Bruins up here. It's 3-2. to two. And Luce is on the loose. And it's going to be a face-off one by Luce. Back to Larry Carrere on the play. And Ramsey has it now. Ramsey on the left wing. Ramsey with a pass back to Lee Fogelin at the point. Fogelin. Looking, he's going to try to slide it up to Don Luce on the play, and he gets it to Luce. Luce with it now. Luce shot one, weak shot on the net, and Jill Bear will gobble that one. Up. 21 shots for the Sabres in this game. As, yeah, Bobby Orr scores, put the Bruins up 3-2. to two. All right, face off. It's going to be Savard winning it now. Savard. He's going to try to control it now, and he does. Savard's going to slide it back to O'Reilly. O'Reilly gets away from Ramsey with it now. O'Reilly opened a scoring in this game, if you remember, back in the first period. O'Reilly with it now. He's going to try to pass it back to Doak on the play, and we'll change up some lines. Yep, that's fine. And Dallas Smith with it now. Uh, no penalty on anybody over here, so Smith is going to send a pass over to Phil Esposito, but Seanfield steps up, and Esposito just pokes it in deep. Getting there first is Gouvermont for the Sabres. 5.20 to go here in the second period. Possible penalty on Hodge, 36, and it's going to be no no penalty, so Martin will just play on. Martin slides it over to Rene Robert. Robert coming down the right wing. Rene moving into the Boston zone. Rene Robert with it, stops, looks, tries to send it back to Gouvermont on the play, but had it taken away by Al Sims. Sims with it now, and then we've got a battle for the puck, and it's going to be Dallas Smith picking up the loose puck. Smith with uh oh possible penalty on Schoenfeld. And that's going to be a, ooh, it's going to be a major, oh, boy, 
Let's check the major now. And, oh, we got a fight. Who's he going to fight? And he's going to fight. Um, who's he going to fight? I forget how we do fights here. Oh, it looks like it's going out to oh, offensive player. Uh, so it's going to be Donnie Marcotte. So Marcotte and Jim Seanfield will go to the box. And Seanfield started hammering away on Marcotte. And now we got to go to some auto lines here. Here we go. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. So a face-off at neutral ice with Marcotte and Seanfield in the box. Five minutes each for a fighting. So we had a fight in that tribute game. What's up with that? Who else would be fighting in tribute games? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, it's going to be uh, Ty goes to the visitor. So it's going to go back to Orr with it now. Shepard wins it back to Orr. Nope, we already changed the lines. Orr with it now trying to go back to Buse. But Rick Dudley steps up and takes away the puck from the Chief. Korab with it now. Korab with the puck. He's going to skate up now into the Boston zone. Long shot from the point. And that's going to be saved by Gilbert. Rebound's going to bounce back to Carol Vadney. Vadney goes behind the net now. Uh, no penalty on Lorenz. Wow, he's got a zero penalty rating. Hmm, that's something else. And it's going to be Shepard with it now. Uh, Shepard for Boston. Up over center. A long shot on the net. That's going to be handled by Crozier. Rebound goes to Orr. Uh-oh. Rebound goes to Orr. Orr shot four. Shoots this one. 12. And score. Bobby Orr is second goal of the period. His second goal of the game. And on the rebound, he gives the Bruins a two-goal lead. Any other assists here? Right wing two. Um, yep, Schmatz. And one more assist maybe. Second highest assist. Um, we're going to give it to Carol Vadney. Oh, no, actually it's supposed to be second highest would be uh, Shepard. Okay, that's fine. So, Bobby Orr cashes in for Boston with two goals here in the period. This time Schmatz and Shepard assist on the play. And it's 4-2 to two for the Bruins. So we'll go auto line here. So we're going to take out Sean Feld. So we'll put, uh, we'll put, um, we'll put Fogel in out there. And Marcotte's got to come out. And who can we put out there? Wayne Cashman. Yeah, let's get Cashman out there. That'd be great. Wayne Cashman. So 3.20 to go. Here in the second period, so Boston led two nothing, then was tied at two to two, and now they lead by two again at four to two, thanks to two goals by number four. And Esposito is going to win it over to Hodge, who's out there with Cashman now. As Marcotte's in the box, and it's going to be Hodge with it now. Hodge moving in. Hodge is going to take a, a long shot at the net, and that's going to be uh, on net a forty-four. Uh oh, oh boy, Whew. forty-four is save and held. <laughs> I looked at the numbers there. I said, boy, that's bigger than 41. That might be a goal, but no, it's not. So Crozier hangs on for the faceoff. Uh, let's see. Visitor wins it. Esposito wins it back to Al Sims. Al Sims had it taken away by Lee Foglin, and here come the Sabres the other way. Uh, penalty check on Hodge is fine, so it's going to be Spencer with it now. Spencer on the left wing, 36. He's going to make a nice pass back to Rick Dudley on the left wing. On the right wing, rather. Dudley's on the right wing here. Dudley moving in. Dudley's going to get a shot five. Oh, shot five. And this one, Dudley shoots this one at 86. And that's going to be a save by Gilbert. And he'll hang on. 23 shots for the Sabres. And they've only gotten two by Gilbert. So a face off in the Boston zone. It's going to be won by the home team this time as Lorenz wins it back to Foglin. And sure, we'll change up the lines. That's fine. And it's going to be Height with it now. And penalty check is good. Height's going to get it. Height's going to send a pass back to Rick Martin. Possible penalty on O'Reilly this time. And it will be a penalty on O'Reilly. So we're going to de delayed call on Terry O'Reilly. Crozier heading to the bench again. And the extra skater this time will be uh, Craig Ramsey. So Rick Martin has the puck, and he's going to try to get it over to Perot, and he does. Perot gets it now. Perot is going to make a nice pass back to the point to Korab. Korab turns, fire this one, and a 48 will be a save, and Gilbert will hang on, and we'll have to put the Crozier back in the net, and we got a penalty on O'Reilly. So we got a slashing call, and the Bruins will be shorthanded. 
with 120 to go here in the period. So Robert, Perot, and Martin will come out for the Sabres. All the penalties should be up in two minutes. Face-off is won by the home team. So it's going to go back to Martin now. Martin with it. Okay, if dumping, no dumping because there's no center. So it's going to be past the Perot right in front. Perot trying to jam this home. Perot shoots this one. Yeah, it's the four-check is one. That's a wide shot. Oh, it's a wide shot. It's Greg Shepard got in on the play. And the puck goes into the corner. Phil Esposito gets there ahead of Jerry Korab, who pinched in from the point. And it's going to send it off to Dallas Smith. Dallas Smith has it, and a 15. He's just going to ice it down to kill some time. 20 seconds to go in the second period. Now, let's see. Intercepted by the center. There's no center. Oh, plus left. Okay, never mind. So it's going to be a nice pass by Gouvermont to Perot. Oh, at the doorstep. Gouvermont shoots us from Perot, tips us one, and a 19, and he scores. So the shot by Gouvermont. Was tipped in by Perot. It'll be a power play goal right here at the end of the second period, and the Sabres are right back in this one. So Gouvermont gets one assist. I like I like how it goes right to the guy that took the, the pass there. That's kind of cool. And Korab will get the other one. And just like that, this game is 4-3. to three. So let's go to auto line. So, okay, Minecart should be out of the box now. I don't know why it didn't take him out. Um... Yeah, that's a power play goal. So Marcotte's got to come out of the box. So let's go. Maybe I take him out manually. There we go. All right, let's just put it line one for everybody here as we finish it up. All right, so let's get a face off at center ice. And that goal was scored at uh, 1944 of the second period. So it's 4-3 to three right now. And the face off will go to back to Bobby Orr with it. Now Orr with it. He steps around Rene Robert. Uh-oh. Or with it, shot two, fires this one on the net, shot, and it's going to be saved by Crozier. will hang on with just a few seconds to go here in the first period. Face off in the Sabres zone, won by Esposito. Esposito is going to take a shot here. He's going to get a 20. He's going to shoot this one. Oh, he's got a shot five right at, the, right at the buzzer here. A 53. Esposito scores. Oh, the Sabres. Just couldn't get out of the, the period. And this is a goal here by Phil Esposito. Let's check the assist here. Bobby Orr will get one assist. And Ken Hodge the other. Holy cow. That goal was scored at 037. <laughs> um okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but let's just Let's just let's get out of the period. End of the period. That was weird. That was weird. So that goal was scored. Uh, it's saying 037. That's kind of messed up. So I got an EOG. So I got some kind of an error. <laughs> I got some kind of an error. I don't know. What can you do? But the Bruins go up five to three here to start the second period. Wow. I mean, I did everything right, so I thought, and just, you know, there was still a little bit of time left on the clock because I was in that last card. I was flipping for the last card, but the game just kind of balked out on me. But here we go. So we start the third period now, 5-3, to three, the score. Bruins in the lead. They got uh, five goals and just 18 shots on Roger Crozier. Esposito wins it back to Carol Vadney. Vadney with a puck now sends it off to Marcotte on the left wing. Marcotte got in a fight earlier in this game, and he's he's okay. And it's going to be a shot three by Marquardt. That goes on the net. Save and a rebound. It's going to bounce to Gilbert Perot. Gets ahead of Esposito on the puck. The penalty is over. Thanks, everybody. Back to full strength. So we'll just leave line one out here right now. And Vadney with a big hit on Perot. The puck bounces loose. And Jerry Korab keeps it into Boston line. He's going to, he's going to hang on to it here. Korab's going to make a nice pass to Bill Height. Bill Height, his defensive partner, is going to fire this one. That shot goes well wide of the net. It's going to be picked up by Rick Martin in the corner now. Martin, uh-oh, penalty on Hodge. And yes, we do. We got a delayed penalty on Ken Hodge. I'm just kind of going with all the penalties tonight. I'm not really changing anything else. The extra skater is going to be um, Ramsey again. So Rick Martin has the puck. 
Martin trying to make a play, and he will slide it back to Height. Bill Height with it now. He's going to try to send it back to Martin, and uh, Vadney can't get it. It's going to be a 35. It's going to be Rick Martin with a shot for Shoots is one of 26, and it's going to be saving a rebound, and that's going to be picked up by Orr, and now we'll get the call. So Hodge will get holding the stick, and he'll go to the box, and the Sabres will go on another man advantage, and it looks like Rene Robert will be out there on a penalty on the power play. Thanks for everybody that is tuning in tonight here for the Rene Robert tribute game. I think it's my first ever tribute game. Um, I, figured, I just have to do one for Rene. I always like the Sabres and the French Connection, so we got a face-off here. And it's going to be won by Shepard. He gets it back to Dallas Smith as they try to kill some time. Smith sends it to Orr. Oh, no. <laughs> and Bobby Orr goes in on a breakaway or, or a shot five. I'll call it shorthanded for Orr. Looking for the hat trick. Orr moving in. But his shot is going to be blocked by Gouvermont, who just got a stick on the play. Wow, that was close. Uh, puck. Bounces in the corner, but Orr is going to go in deep to get it. Orr, he can do whatever he wants with it. Orr is going to try to go to the point, but no, he's going to flip it in deep and just kill some time. Korab has it now. The loose puck will go to Buffalo, and the Sabres will try to start it out. Korab skates it up now. He comes in, top of the faceoff circle. He's going to let this one rip on Gilbert. That's going to be a save and a rebound, and that's going to go to Greg Shepard, who gets back there from Boston. Shepard tries to send it over to Esposito, but it's going to be intercepted by Rick Martin on the left wing. Martin has it. He tries to make a pass. Taken away by Shepard. We're going to keep the lines out here. Time ticking away on the man advantage now. And it's going to be Phil Esposito with it. And Phil Esposito is going to turn this puck over, and it's going to go to Rene Robert. Rene Robert slides it over to Rick Martin. Martin has it now. Time ticking away on the penalty to Hodge. Martin at the side of the net. Martin's got a shot. Five here, 38 is a save and a rebound. It Oh, i got to put the goalie back, don't I? Man, Dave, I always do that. And the puck bounces to Orr. Orr with it now as the penalty is over. And we'll go to auto lines here. And it's going to be Andre Savato. It's going to take a big hit by Sean Feld. Loose puck is picked up by Sean Feld. Sean Feld is going to avoid the hit by Terry O'Reilly. You come in with his stick high, and Sean Feld's going to skate it now. He's going to drop it off for Craig Ramsey. Craig Ramsey on the left wing. Ramsey moving in. Ramsey with a nice move around Doak. Ramsey moving in. Shot five. Shoots this one. That's on net. A 20-40 scores. Craig Ramsey. It's his second goal of the game. And the Sabres have cut it to 5 to 4. Uh, assist going to Gouvermont. And uh, I, do I want Luce or Gare? Luce or Gare? Luce or Gare? Luce or Gare? We'll give it to Luce. So let's check our scoring now. As Craig Ramsey, his second of the game, has cut the lead to 5 to 4. Face off at center. Savad and Luce. Luce is going to win this one back to Gouvermont. Gouvermont is going to skate with it now. Gouvermont stops. It's going to send it over to Craig Ramsey, and we'll make some line changes here. That's fine. And we'll put line four out for each team. Oh, I don't have a line four for them. Oh, hmm, kind of weird. That's okay. And it's going to be, uh-oh, penalty on Schmatz. Yep. Delayed call, so Buffalo will go back on the man advantage. It's going to be Morris Titanic now. And we're going to take Crozier out again. Hopefully I put him back this time. The extra skater will be Robert coming out on the ice. So he's going to make a pass 36. He's going to send it over to Korab at the point. Korab is going to try to slide it into Peter McNabb, and he gets it to McNabb. McNabb right at the side of the net. Peter McNabb shoots this one. Let me see. Uh, four checks there, one. Then it's a blocked shot. So the shot is blocked, and it bounces to Smith, and he'll... Touch up, and we'll get the call. So Schmatz is going to go for roughing on this one here. And so we'll have to go PK1 on the kill. And Buffalo with a great chance to tie this one up here on the man advantage. 12.40 to play here in the third period of our Rene Robert um, tribute game. So let's take the extra skater off. Let's get power play one. We're going to get Robert out here. Yes, we will. All right, so we've got a face off. It's going to be won by Boston. That was Shepard. Gets it back to Al Sims. 
Al Sims uh, avoids a hit, and he's going to send a... Uh, why can't I ice it? Interception if they're 12. They're not 12. Then no assist. So I just, just I can't ice it. So it's just going to be a pass on a 37. Okay, it's a pass. Um, going to try to send it behind the net. The bad taken away by Schoenfeld, though. Schoenfeld pinches up. Loose puck goes to Phil Esposito. Esposito with it, and he's going to skate with it now. And Phil Esposito's going to get a chance now. Um, Esposito is going to skate, and he's going to get a shot. Four here, shorthanded. Esposito shoots this one. That's on net. A 68 is going to be a save by Crozier, and he'll hang on. And it is a good game. Five to four. A lot of goals here. Shots are now 29 to 20, so at least my shots are getting up there. I was always concerned about having not a lot of shots in this game, but I, I'm getting shots on net, so... Uh, one minute to go in the penalty to Schmatz. Face off in the Buffalo zone. Shepard wins it again and goes over to Esposito now. Esposito slides it to Al Sims. Al Sims, now why, why can't I ice it here? It's a past LD36. It's not letting me ice. So I guess I'll just have to pass. I don't, I don't know what else to do. Why it won't let me ice it? Hmm. Strange. So I'll just pass it. Uh, if four checkers and no assist, okay, it's not going to be that. It's going to be a 30. So he can't ice it either. That's weird. Um, Pass it, I guess, right? Send it back to Esposito. That's weird. i got to find out why I'm not able to ice the puck. That's kind of strange. Hmm. Uh, no penalty five. Esposito has it. Esposito, not a shorthanded chance. Shoots this one. And saved by Crozier and hang on. So time is almost up to the penalty to Schmatz. Face off will be won by Shepard again. Back to Sims. The penalty is over. So let's get some lines out here. And uh, yeah, that works out well. And it's going to be a dump in now as uh, Larry Carrier stepped up on the play. Goes into the corner. Savad's going to beat Gilbert Perot to the puck, though. Savad, he's going to make a nice pass to Dave Forbes. I have Dave Forbes' autograph, by the way, in a picture somewhere, too. I, I think my parents knew him when we were younger. Local guy. Dave Forbes, local guy. Good kid. Uh, Forbes now right at the side of the net. Forbes shoots this one, and that goes wide as Rene Robert got back on the back check for the Sabres. And it goes over to Orr now. Orr on the loose puck. Orr flips it up to Forbes. Now it's taken away by Robert, though. Rene Robert, and we got another penalty. Seven plus... Minor, no, just a delayed call. So delayed call on the Bruins again. That's going to be a ton of penalty minutes on the Bruins. Crozier comes out. Extra skater will be, uh, we're going to have Luce come out as the extra skater. And so the Rene Robert with the puck now. He's going to make a pass over to Perot. And no, it's Orr steps up to take it away. And now we'll make the call. So boarding call by Dave Forbes. And the Sabres will go back on the man advantage. Holy smacks. They are one for six on the man advantage tonight. Boston uh, has n not had anything tonight for power plays. Yep, so penalties. Where's the penalties? Yeah, penalty. yeah, no penalties on the Sabres. No minor penalties, that is. There was one fight, but that was it. So the Sabres go back on the main advantage. They trail 5-4, to four, but the penalty minutes are 19-5 to five in favor of the Bruins, and that's not one you want to be in favor of. So a face-off will be won by Jimmy Lorenz. Uh, no, we got to get uh, Martin out, uh, Robert out here, rather. Let's get the PKs. There we go, PK1, power play one. All right, so Martin has it now. Martin tries to make a play, but Shepard's going to steal this one here, and it's going to bounce over to Dallas Smith. Smith on the loose puck. Uh, we'll keep the lines out here. It's over to Orr right now. Orr with it. Orr skating. Orr's going to get a shorthanded rush. Orr moving in. Long shot on the net. A 33. Oh, boy. i got to put the goalie back, don't I? A 33 from shot one is going to be saved and a rebound by Crozier. And it bounces over to Gilbert Perot. The French connection out there on the man advantage now. Perot has it. He's going to skate up over the line. He's going to make a nice pass over to Rick Martin. Martin at the side of the net. Martin shoots this one. 50, save and a rebound. And the puck goes to Gilbert Perot. Perot with it at the side of the net, trying to jam it home. Perot shoots, and Perot scores, and the game is tied at 5-5. Five to five. Yeah, I know. I keep forgetting to put the goalies back in on the delayed call. Luckily, it doesn't hurt you. It just it messes with their stats, but it doesn't hurt them. And Perot has tied it up on the man advantage. 
Korab getting an assist. And Rene Robert will get an assist as well. Oh, oh. I think Did I screwed that up. Yeah, I think I did. So I, I hit the wrong one. I hit breakaway. <laughs> so, but he's he's in our hearts with that assist. So Korab, yeah, I screwed that up, yep. Yeah. And so it's going to be, uh, the penalty is up to Forbes. So let's go back. Let's go line two for each team now as we got 740 to play, and it's a new game. So uh, keep in mind that, that uh, Rene Robia did get an assist. I hit the wrong button. It's getting late. I missed the wrong button. So with 740 to play, it's 5-5 five to five now. And here we go. So we got a face off at center ice. Line two out here for each team now. And Luce will be kicked out. And the face-off will go to the Bruins now. It's going to be Johnny Music, the Chief, with it. The Chief skates away from Luce. Sends it up to Greg Shepard with a 27 here. Shepard's going to try to send it back to Dallas Smith. And it's going to bounce back to Shepard, who's going to have to wind up in his own zone. Shepard now. Fans on the pass. And we got a possible penalty shot. Oh, boy. We're having a little bit of everything tonight. So, penalty shot. No break for the right. No breakaway from the right wing. Penalty shot. Okay, so what do we do here? Press assist major. If penalty is greater than one penalty shot, in it, and he's a wow, it's a one, really. If penalty shot, then shoot a five. So Danny Gare is hauled down by Shepard after he gave it away, and Danny Gare will get a penalty shot. So Danny Gare will get a chance to put the Sabres up and give them their first lead of the day. Of the night, rather, here in the Rene Robert tribute game. So Danny Gare, he collects the puck at center ice. He moves in. He shoots this one. A 1-5 to five is the goal. A 99 is the goal. Shot 41. It's going to be a save. And Gilbert will hang on. So the penalty shot is stopped by Gilbert, and the game remains 5-5. Five to five. So we'll have a face-off in the Boston zone. Both goalies are cold, by the way. Shepard will be kicked out. We'll do this again. And Buzik comes in. He wins the faceoff back to Dallas Smith. Dallas Smith has it taken away by Schoenfeld, and Schoenfeld will start to play. Sends over to Ramsey now on the wing, left wing. It's going to be Ramsey. Ramsey now. And um, Warren really likes uh, Stratomatic. Yeah, I, I like the Stratomatic hockey. I like all the hockey games I have pretty much. They all do different things. That's why I've been playing them all differently on this project or the product that I'm playing on. Ramsey has it now, 834. He's going to make a nice pass over to Danny Gare. Danny Gare moving in, shot five, shoots this one. It's on net, a 75, saved by Gilbert, and he'll hang on. That's 33 shots by the Sabres. All right, let's get uh, line one back out here for each team. And here we go. So we got a face-off now. It's going to be won by the home team. It's going to be Korab with it now. Korab. Trying to go back to Gilbert Perot, but who else steps in the way but Bobby Orr? He knocks him off the puck, and Carol Vadney picks up the loose puck. He's going to send it off on the side to Donnie Marker. But Rene Robert steps up and takes this one away. Rene Robert sends it back to Korab, and Ken Hodge flattens Korab at the blue line. Loose puck bounces back into the Boston zone. It's picked up by Carol Vadney. Five minutes to play here in the third period of our Rene Robert tribute game. Ten goals have been scored in this one. We'll recap them after the game. It's going to be on the left wing now. Donnie Marcotte. Marcotte is going to make a nice pass. He threads the needle over to Hodge. Hodge moving in. Bottom of the faceoff circle. Hodge shoots this one. That's going to be blocked by Korab. The puck bounces into the corner now. Rick Martin, the left wing, swoops in to pick it up. Martin skates away, gets around and checked by Vadney, and he's on his horse. Martin, Gilbert, and Rene Robert out there. The French connection, falling to Sabres. It's going to be a long shot towards the net, and it's going to be a 14. It's going to be a save and a rebound, and it bounces over to Rene Robert. Can he put the Sabres up 6-5? to five? He has a shot, 5. Robert with Gilbert diving across. He shoots this one, and Bobby Orr gets back, and he deflects the puck away. A diving play by Orr, and he robs Robert of a possible go-ahead goal in his own tribute game. Oh, that Bobby Orr. Esposito will get the loose puck. And he's going to flip it back to Orr, and Orr will start to play. Orr now, up over center. Orr just inside the Sabre zone. Shoots this one towards the net, and that'll be an easy save for Crozier, and he'll drop it off for Korab. 
Korab with it now. Let's get line two out here, and then we'll finish up the game with line one in the last 220 of the game. It's going to be Schoenfeld with it now. Schoenfeld is going to try to make a play, and he's going to be hit by Sims now. Puck bounces in the corner. Dallas Smith gets there ahead of Ramsey. Smith sends it behind the net to Sims. Sims bumped by Gare. Loose puck is Gare. Gare skating with it now. Gare turns away, gets away from Busick. Gare turns around, spins this one toward the net. Now he gives it up. He coughs it up, and it bounces back to Busick, and Busick will skate with it now. Busick skates it up to center ice. Bumped by Gare. He's just going to flip it in deep. Three minutes of play here. Five to five on score. Gouvermont. For the Sabres, picking up the loose puck, sends it back to Sean Fell. Sean Fell tries to start the play, but he's going to get up and he's going to be bumped by Shepard, and he plays it in deep to the Boston zone. Danny Gear gets there ahead of Al Simzo. Gear in the corner. Gear trying to go back to Gouvermont on the play, but it's going to be Shepard now forcing him off the puck. And we're going to make our last line changes here with 2.20 to go. Vadney picking up the loose puck, and he's going to send it over to Orr. Orr has it now. Orr skating the other way. Orr into the Sabre zone. Orr, a long shot towards the net, and that's going to be caught and hung on to by Roger Crozier. Hmm. Who boy. So face off in the Sabre zone. Two minutes of play in this game, and it's 10-10. to 10. We had a penalty shot in this game, and Rene Robert had Gilbert down, and Bobby Orr blocked the shot. So we've had a little bit of everything here in this game. Face off won by Esposito. Pass back to Orr. Orr's got it now. Bobby Orr moving in. Shoots this one. 13. He scores. And that's a hat trick for Bobby Orr. And he might have just put the dagger into the heart of the Sabres fan on this night as he takes the pass and he scores. Assists going to Don Marcotte and third highest. Uh... One, two, three. We'll give it a Kenny Hodge. So Bobby Orr possibly breaking the hearts of the Sabre faithful here on Rene Robert night with his third goal of the game. So we're going to crank up the four checks now. And we're going to bounce Boston down to zero in the last minute 40 of the game. Face off is won by Esposito. Marquardt has it now. Marcotte is not going to be intercepted. It's going to be Carol Vadney with it now, and he's going to make a pass back to Bobby Orr. Orr skating with it now. Time tick ticking away here. Sabre's going to get the puck and get Crozier to the net. Orr is going to make a uh, nice pass over to Phil Esposito. Esposito moving in, shot three, and that's going to be held by Crozier and dropped off. Crozier now heads to the bench with a minute to play. Coming out will be Craig Ramsey. So Bill Height with the puck. With a goaltender out, Height is going to be no penalty on the play. Height's going to skate it up now. Height's going to make a pass over to Robert. Robert gets around Bobby Orr. All right, defense, physical high. No, not physical high. Robert with it now. Robert with a nice pass back to Height. Height with a shot, and that goes wide of the net. Perot with a loose puck. 20 seconds to go. He's got to... He's hit by Esposito. The puck goes in deep. Picked up by Orr, and that'll end the game. And the final score will be the Bruins 6 and the Sabres 5. So there are three stars, Orr, Esposito, and Hodge. Of course, Orr with a hat trick. And that will be the final score. Fun game there. Fun game. Check out box score here. Rene Robert did have an assist. Uh, I, f I hit the wrong button and didn't log it in, but yeah. So the Sabres, two for seven on the power play. Boston never had a power play. Boston didn't have a power play in this whole thing. Um, wow, Korab went minus five. Oh, they got the plus minuses. This is great. Bobby Orr was plus six. <laughs> I mean, I wish this game would sim. If this game would sim, it would be great. I would play this all the time, but it doesn't sim any games. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marquardt was plus four. Imagine that. Height and Korab are both minus five. That is terrible. Ooh. Rene Robert was minus three. Bummer. <laughs> but that was fun. Oh, let's head back to Studio B here. Um, and that's that, folks. That's our uh, Rene Robert tribute game here. Um, hat trick for Bobby Orr. So, yeah. So anyway, hey, thanks everybody that tuned in. We had a pretty good crowd here tonight, a late night here on the East Coast as we uh, paid some tribute to uh, the, the late uh, Buffalo Sabre Rene Robert with a tribute game here using Inside the Crease. It's a 
Uh, that's that's my, my 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 new hockey game. I'm really enjoying that one there. So. Anyway, so, uh, hey, I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we should have a new episode of Digital to Dice uh, released tomorrow. I just have to edit it all down for you guys, and we'll get it up there. We had a great chat tonight um, yeah, about uh, how many projects is too many projects? How many is too many? How many projects you got going on, you know? At what point uh, is it too many, or is it never too many? So, anyway, uh, we'll get that up tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, check for uh, Al Red Sox fan and Uncle Ron's channel for more of the 77-78 playoffs. And I'll probably get a squeeze in a game tomorrow. I'm not sure which game I'll play, but I'll probably squeeze in a game as I'm playing the Flyers in the Atlanta Flames series, which the Flames won in overtime here on, um, I think I played inside the crease with that. Yeah, Flames won in overtime, and they lead that series one to nothing. So, um, hey, I'm Dave. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and I will catch everybody later. Have a good night.